Hello everyone. On behalf of the CAMWORKS What's New production team, I would like to welcome all of you to the What's New in CAMWORKS 2011 presentation. My name is Mike Sowers and I'm the Director of Technical Sales here at Geometric Technologies. Real quickly, let's look at the agenda. We're going to be covering general commands, milling enhancements, turning enhancements, simulation and step through toolpath, CAMWORKS volume mill, electrode works, electrodes for CAMWORKS, and lastly any questions that you may have. In CAMWORKS 2011 and onwards, you now have the ability to create feature conditions within CAMWORKS SOLIDWORKS environment. What this means is you no longer have to go into the technology database to create feature conditions. This will reduce errors simplifying the process and also reduce the time to create new feature conditions. In CAMWORKS 2010, this was possible only in the technology database. Let's look at a demonstration of how this is done. Okay, so I'm going to extract machinable features, generate an operation plan, and generate toolpath. You'll notice that the feature rectangular slot 5 is in magenta, obviously meaning that there's no operations. Well, I'm going to interactively insert a 2.5 axis rough mill. I'm going to select the proper tooling. In this case, it's going to be a quarter inch flat end mill. I'm going to go into my roughing parameters, change the first cut to 50 thou and the maximum cut to 50 thou. And I'll also change the step over to 40% of the tool diameter. You know what, let's change the pattern to pocket out as well. I'll generate tool path. Now if we go back over to the feature side, you'll notice that rectangular slot 5 is no longer magenta. Let's save to database. Note, a matching feature condition does not exist, so it's going to create a new feature. And here's the feature condition. This looks similar to the technology database, however, as you can see, I'm clearly doing this with inside of CAMWORKS. And I'll just make some changes here and select Save. Click OK. Now let's go into the technology database so that you can see the change reflects what's coming from the technology database. In the licensing area of CAMWORKS, specifically network license, we have now added the ability to borrow a floating FlexLM license. And again, this is only if you're running a network license. And this is a great function as it allows you to check out specific modules for a specific amount of time. Once the time is expired, then it is refreshed back on the server and the license that was available on the checked out computer or notebook is then automatically voided. Display message on generate toolpath when toolpath has been edited. What we've done here is provided more options and more automation. Earlier the manual edits in the toolpath would get overwritten if the user would generate toolpath. But with this new feature, CAMWORKS is going to prompt the user if there's any manual edits found while regenerating the toolpath. It also provides an option to lock the edited toolpath. Let me give you a brief demonstration on how this works. Okay, so if we take a look at this part, I'm going to edit the toolpath, and let's make a uh, let's make a feed rate change. Let's go 200 with this, and select close. Now notice what's going on here. The toolpath has been edited. Would you like to lock the toolpath so that modifications will not be lost during regenerating the toolpath? Now, in previous versions of CAMWORKS you would have to manually lock it after you've modified your toolpath manually. So I'm going to select yes to this and you'll notice in the tree 
that it's purple. Now, as another example, let's take the operation right below, edit the feed rate, and let's go 20. However, this time, I'm going to select no. And you'll notice that rectangular slot 1 is not purple. I'm going to regenerate the toolpath as you see here, and it's going to give me a warning. The toolpath for Contour Mill 1 operation has been edited manually. Regenerating the toolpath will overwrite the manual changes. Do you want to regenerate toolpath? We've also updated our icon images with a new theme, as you can see here in the SOLIDWORKS Command Manager. Tool crib formatting. We've now provided a method to customize the tool crib form display in the operation parameter dialog box. Let me show you. So I've got an operation open here. I'm going to click on the tool crib and notice in the columns here that I can sort the ID number, I can sort the tool type, and this is all done just by a single click, and I can also use the drag drop method to reorder the display of the columns. CamWorks Dialogs in the SOLIDWORKS Property Manager. On the left hand side where you see CamWorks 2010 is our current dialog boxes. However, in CamWorks 2011 and future versions you will see the dialog boxes conveniently, strategically, and ideally placed in the SOLIDWORKS property manager. For this version you will see the insert wrap feature the unwrap to sketch, the insert perimeter feature, the insert turn feature, insert EDM features, and multi-surface feature.